Hi guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to set up Logic Audio for analog summing with your D-Box or your 2-Bus or your 2-Bus LT. This is a typical session with drums and percussions, bass, guitars, keyboards and stuff like that. If you look at the mixer, this is set up as you would have it if you're not doing analog summing. Everything is going to main outs and you see here main outs. Main outs for me here is output 1112 because I'm using a Fireface 800. How do you think about setting up for analog summing? It's pretty simple. Because of the way Logic handles the different kinds of interfaces and how it addresses different tracks to different outputs, I recommend you do it this way. Think of it as a layer in between your session and your physical outputs. You're going to add buses for every single stem you need. If you have, say, a two bus with eight stereo inputs, create eight buses. For example, you could create one for the drums. I'm going to select all my drums and send them all to bus one. I always leave the first eight buses in Logic open so that I can do this. Bus one is going to be my drum bus. Logic automatically creates an object here that I'm going to call drum stem. And this is my bus. This will then in turn be assigned to some output, for example, output one, two. Then I can go to my percussions, assign those to bus two. Logic will then create an object right here called aux two. I'm going to call it perk stem and assign it to output three, four. And so on and so forth. We're going to speed this up so you don't fall asleep. Now I have these eight buses. All of my session is being routed to these eight buses. The beauty now is that say I have a D box and an eight channel interface. I can say, okay, well, drum stand is going to output one, two. Percussion stem is going to output one, two. Bass stem is going to output one, two, say. And then guitar stem, key stem are going to three, four. And then lead stem, and back stem are going to 5, 6. And effect stem is going to 7, 8. Now this is just one example. Maybe you want to keep the drums on one stem and reorganize everybody differently. If you have a 16 channel interface, then you can use 16 outputs and have all these separate buses all go to their separate physical outputs, hitting the 16 channels on your converter and then hitting the 16 inputs on your two bus and then hitting the converter back in, which I'll show you in a second. But that's the spirit. Every single track in the session goes to a bus, and in turn, that bus goes to a physical output of your converter, which hits the two bus, and then you take the output of the two bus, and you're going to record that. Where are you going to record that? You're going to record that to a new track. So you have to come here and create a new track. New. Track. Consider stereo. For the input, you select whatever input you have connected your analog summing device to your interface. In this case, in my case, input one, two. For output, select your monitoring outputs. In my case, I'm using a Fireface 800. I'm using the SPDIF outputs. So it's output 1112. That's what I'm going to choose in this case. In your case, it's going to be whatever outputs you've been monitoring through all this time. Here you go. Create. Boom. Let's call it print track, just so we know. All you have to do to listen to your mix is put the print track on record and now everything that's playing is going through your converter, through your two bus, back into the computer, onto this input and being monitored through your main outs to your speakers. You always have to be on record if you want to hear what's coming in and if you want to hear what you just printed, you got to get off record. And that's it. If you look to the right of the track we just created, you'll see all the objects that Logic automatically generated to answer your prayers. For example, every time you created a bus, we saw that it created these eight auxes with the bus as the input. Then you choose your outputs. These are my three reverbs, which I have in all my Logic sessions. Here are your different physical outputs. This is kind of neat because you could insert some plugins here. Say, for example, a beat crusher on your drum output, if you're into that kind of stuff. 
The beauty here is that you're able to really see what logic is doing and also monitoring all you level through all these objects. So it can be a little overwhelming, but you know, you don't have to look at them. Just look at your session, everything else takes care of itself. Side note, if you go into IO labels under the options menu down here in the mixer, you can actually rename your buses so it makes a little more sense. I like to name everything. So, for example, bus one was my drum stem, bus two was my perk stem, three bass, four git stem, five keyboard, lead, back, and effects. The beauty of this is that your stemming objects are properly named and the output of all the tracks are also properly named, which is nice when you have a very big session. You may find yourself, depending on your interface and your version of Logic, in a situation where you really, 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 really want to rename this stereo output to something else since it's no longer your stereo output. If you are in this situation and these outputs are grayed out, you're going to have to learn to let go. There's hope for the next version. As a consolation price, you can always rename the other ones. Boom. Last side note, please view these buses and these auxes right here as a layer between your music and your interface. Say you're working at home with an A-channel interface and a D-box. You only have eight physical D2As on your interface and eight inputs on your summing device, the D-box. Now you're going to your big brother studio who has a 16-channel D2A and a dangerous LT. All you have to do to open up your session for your big brother studio is come to these buses which already exist and your mix which already sounds good and just reroute the output of these buses for the bigger system. When you're done working at your big brother's place and you want to come back to your own place, you can reroute again without changing your mix. All you have to do is just select different outputs on the buses and nothing else is touched. That's a pretty neat way to work. Try it, it's addictive. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial on how to set up your logic session for analog summing. Incidentally, this session is available as a template from the good people at Dangerous Music.